If this bill is not going to take away government protection for financial companies and send those that fail through bankruptcy, then it should make them small enough to fail. Small enough to fail. Decades of combinations have allowed a handful of banks to dominate the financial landscape. The four largest financial companies have assets totaling over 50% of our annual gross domestic product. And the six largest have assets of more than 60% of our total domestic product. The four largest banks control approximately one-third of all the deposits in this country. This concentration has come about because creditors would rather deal with firms seen as too big to fail, knowing that the government will protect them from losses. I would rather take away the taxpayer protection for creditors of large firms and let the market determine their size. But if that is not going to happen, we should place hard limits on the size of financial companies and limit the activity of banks with insured deposits. Any financial company that are over those size limits must be forced to shrink. This will lead to a more competitive banking sector, reduce the influence of the largest firms, and prevent a handful of them from holding our economy and our government hostage ever again.